Welcome to Laura Rose Paints. My name is Laura and I will be your guide for today's painting, which is a beautiful sunset over water. If you are painting along, check out the description below for all the supplies you'll need. Pull up an easel and let's get painting. Beginning with the sky, use a 5 8 inch filbert brush to mix bright red and titanium white. More white for a lighter pink, more red for a darker pink. Add a drop of water to loosen up the paint, wipe the excess off your brush, and use the edge of the bristles to draw an upward curving line across the center of the canvas. Brush back and forth following the curve of the horizon line and work your way up the canvas to the halfway point between the horizon and the top of the canvas. If you want a streaky effect, pick up some extra red or white on your brush without mixing it into the pink. Use the edge of the brush to pop in a few thin streaks throughout the sky. As you paint, periodically dip your brush in the water and dab on your paper towel. Keeping the bristles wet but not dripping wet will help the paint to spread more easily. When you reach the halfway point, clean your brush and pick up some white paint. Dilute it with a quick dip in the water and dab on the paper towel. Brush along the edge of the pink. Keep brushing back and forth to blend the colors together. This will allow the pink to fade into the canvas. With the pink portion painted, clean your brush and mix a scoop of titanium white with a scoop of cobalt blue. More white for a lighter color, more blue for a darker color. Starting from the top of the canvas, brush back and forth following the curve and begin to work your way down the canvas. Pick up a little extra blue or white along the way to pop in a few extra streaks in the sky. Keep going until the blue almost reaches the pink. Then clean your brush and use a bit of watered down white paint to fade the blue into the pink. With the sky all filled in, continue to use the same brush and paint to add the water underneath the sky. Pick up some of the blue-white mix and use the edge of the brush to add a wavy line to the horizon. Fill in everything below this line with blue and white. Alternate between the blue, the white, and the blue-white mix. Follow the overall curve of the horizon and add some wavy lines as well. If you are going for a streaky look, try not to brush too much in any one area. And now it's time for a dry break. Clean your brush, get a fresh cup of paint water, and if you are inclined to post your work in progress to Instagram, please feel free to tag me at tinyartwork. And now it's time to start adding the detail. Using whichever brush you like, mix equal parts titanium white and chrome yellow, then put your brush aside and dip your index finger in the paint. Press down on the center of the canvas just above the horizon, gently moving your hand in small circles and pull straight away. Repeat this step under the sun just below the horizon line. If either the sun or sun's reflection need a second coat, wait for the paint to dry first.
Switch back to the 5 8 inch filbert brush and use the edge of the bristles to add a few streaks of bright yellow around the sun in both the sky and the water. Use very light pressure for a subtle stroke or very firm pressure for a bold stroke. Be sure to follow the curve of the sky and the waves in the water. Moving on to the clouds, clean your brush and use the white paint to add as many clouds as you like to the sky. Gently tap your brush on the canvas and move it in small circles and squiggly lines as you create your clouds. Follow the curve of the sky as you fill them in and make them larger towards the edges of the canvas and smaller towards the center. Once the clouds have been painted, use the same brush to pick up some of the yellow-white mix and gently tap in a few pops of yellow to the bottoms of the clouds. Clean your brush and move back to the pink to add a few extra reflections in the water. Use the edge of the bristles to gently brush back and forth following the curves and waves in the water. Add as much or as little pink as you like but remember it is water so it does not need to be perfect. For the grass at the bottom of the painting, clean your brush and mix equal parts chrome yellow and cobalt blue. If you want to keep it simple, use the same shade of green for all the grass, or if you want to add more detail, mix a second pile of green using three or four scoops of yellow to one scoop of blue for a brighter shade of green. Then, mix a third pile of green using equal parts blue and yellow and a tiny little drop of bright red. This will create a darker shade of green, but be careful not to add too much red or you will end up with brown. If you need more red, add just a little bit at a time. Whether you decide to use one shade of green or three, use the tip of a 1 8 inch round brush or even the very edge of the 5 8 inch filbert brush to flick in the grass. If the paint does not slide easily, a drop of water may be added to it and be sure to wipe the excess paint from your brush before you begin. Curve the blades of grass towards the center of the canvas. Make them longer near the edges and shorter near the center. Press very lightly for a thin stroke or very firmly for a thick stroke. If you are using three shades of green, try not to overwork the paint or the colors may blend together and you will lose the contrast.
For the final detail, you may want to use a super skinny round brush and black paint or a super fine tipped black marker to add a few birds in the sky. Decide where you want your birds and add a few elongated or exaggerated V shapes in varying sizes throughout the sky. And that is the final detail based on our reference. Feel free to use creative license and make whatever changes you like, but the final step in any painting is of course to sign your name. Take credit for your work. And if you are inclined to post to Instagram, please feel free to tag me at Tiny Artwork so I can see your masterpiece. Thank you for joining me. I hope you had a great time and will join me again. And until then, happy painting.